Mount Bunnell Media here with uh, a Knight of the Realm, Sir John Hargrave. And Sir John, what brings you to town? I am here at South by Southwest talking about blockchain, the hottest new technology in the world. And we have somebody, and we have somebody here from come all the way from Malta to speak about blockchain as well. Meet Philip. Yes. Hi, my name is Philip. I'm a crypto lawyer from the blockchain island from Malta. We are, we are, we try to um, to regulate it a little bit, uh, not only the uh, the cryptocurrencies and the financial aspects of it, but also the technology itself. Um, my question I always um, ask the, the, the interview partners is um, you always get a little bit of a rouse um, between the ideologists and the, and the legal persons um, on, on how to regulate blockchain itself. Mm -hmm. uh, and the question is, is it good to have a permission blockchain? I was talking to Microsoft before, they're all about the permission blockchain. In Malta, we are trying to regulate it with a, per, like with a one person called a technical administrator who can interfere, uh, whereas like this master node, uh, if something goes wrong. Yeah. What, what's your take on that? What's the real blockchain? So first of all, Philip, do all the crypto lawyers in Malta wear a cowboy hat and shades? <laughs> no, sorry, but we, we just dressed up for the occasion. We bought those today <laughs> in, a, in a boot shop in Bastrop. Because you look unlike any lawyer I've ever worked with. <laughs> Good. But you look like you might be running a club here in Austin. Okay, cool. So it does feel good from that perspective. So the question is around regulation yeah. of blockchain assets. And our strong view is we need to work with existing regulation. So think about taking what we have and evolving it one step forward into the blockchain. So for example, we have plenty of great regulation around stock market right now. So we've talked about smart stocks as being stocks that would simply be recorded on the blockchain when we buy and sell a share of stock. It would be recorded on the blockchain, it'd be transparent. It would give us uh, easier ways to organize shareholders, uh, better voting, and so forth. Smart stocks, that takes existing legislation and just evolves it one step forward. I think that's the right way. Okay, cool. Um, we are also um, currently working on one of the first um, retail STOs ever under the MIFID II framework, which we have in Europe, which is similar to the one in, uh, that, that regulates the ATSs here in the US. Um, we are very close to that. Do you also think that the STOs in general, I think you mentioned it in your speech, um, is the big thing of 2019 and, and yeah. going forward? Yeah. Yeah, so security token offerings uh, are an attempt to make uh, a new kind of blockchain-based token that, uh, that can correspond with existing securities laws. Yes. So for example, you take a security, something with real world value like a company, or like real estate, or like a commodity, or precious metal, uh, and you basically split it into pieces, just like with a, with a company, we split it into pieces for, uh, for shareholders. That's why we call it share, we're all sharing in the ownership of a company. So we're splitting these real world commodities into tokens. So security means something that is secure, that has real value. Token means a blockchain based unit of value value, like a subway token, and offering means we offer it to the public, STOs. Okay. Um, the last question is, um, Malta um, self-called itself the um, blockchain island. Um, by trading volume, it's the country with the highest trading volume um, in the world, in front of the USA and other places. Um, does it play any role in your professional life, or is it on your screen? Yeah, I think Malta has done a good job branding itself as a very blockchain-friendly jurisdiction. Um, and I think between uh, Malta and forward-thinking governments like Switzerland uh, and some un United States, like Wyoming, has passed some good legislation around blockchain assets. I think that you guys are really leading the way, and you've done a good job branding Malta in that way. Thank you. So, John, it's always a pleasure to meet at Night of the Realm, and thank you very much for taking the time speaking to us. I'm very excited to show you something that uh, is getting its debut here today okay. at South by Southwest. And that is the world's first blockchain mascot. Wow. So the idea is that we need to make blockchain more friendly and more fun for people to really get involved. And we created the first mascot, Blocky McBlockchain, who is right here wow. to my right. Look at that. Blocky <laughs> McBlockchain. And as you can see, it's a block with a chain. It's a block and a chain. And his Brilliant. name is Blocky McBlockchain. When you walk down the street, Blocky McBlockchain destroys. Everybody wants their photo taken with Blocky because he's so friendly and he's so fun. Blocky is doing more for this industry, I'm sorry, than all the lawyers in Malta. <laughs> given, given. <laughs> Blocky is the one that will bring this to the masses. This is the genesis moment.
decentralized. <laughs> this is a decentralized mascot. We're actually going to chop him into a thousand pieces afterwards and sell them on the blockchain. It's going to be lovely. Blocky McBlockchain. <laughs>